Today I will be reviewing the AEG Burst Wizard King Kong. I was fortunate enough to receive a beta version of the King Kong in order to put it through its paces and do some reviewing. In this review I'll be going over its basic features, including installation. Please stay tuned for more videos of the more advanced features that I will be putting out shortly. I received the Burst Wizard King Kong, an additional wire, and some heat shrink tubing, as well as a detailed set of programming instructions. I'm not sure what the final packaging will actually look like as this was a beta version. It is also available to get T-plugs or Dean's connectors, which is the case in this model here. First thing I noticed about the King Kong was its size. It's a little bit smaller than most of the other products out there and fits easily inside of uh, most applications. Buffer tube, regular M4 handguard, or even a Magpul Mo handguard. To me, the most important feature of the King Kong is the fact that you can hook it up to any AEG. No gearbox modification is required. For the standard installation, simply locate where you want to put the AEG Burst Wizard in your gun. Since I'll be putting it in a full stock, I'm going to go ahead and remove the stock from the gun. I'll disconnect the old fuse since it's no longer necessary. Then I will attach the Burst Wizard King Kong. And finally I'm going to put the stock back on. Now I'm ready to go. It is that simple. Now I actually won't be able to see the LED indicator on the Burst Wizard itself for programming, so I'll have to program it with the stock off and then put the stock on when I'm ready to fire. Additionally, with the red wire that was included in the package, you can actually hardwire it to your gearbox. There are some advanced features that are only available with the hardwired version, but for most common AEG user, um, all you need to do is plug it in the way I've shown and you're ready to rock. Now I know you may be thinking, do you really get true LiPo protection when you don't have it hardwired into the gun? The Burst Wizard King Kong has a feature that is measured in microseconds to where it semi-delays the send of the power to the motor, waiting for your trigger to fully engage so that way you're not arcing or bridging the contacts. Using my split gearbox, I was able to watch this happen quite a bit. I found that with the Burst Wizard King Kong, it does a pretty good job of preventing any arcing. You can see here in this first part, I'm actually short stroke stroking the trigger so that I'm not actually fully pulling it, just partially. In this instance, you can see a little bit of arcing. In this next part, I do full complete trigger pulls. As you can see, there's little to no arcing. Provided you fully pull the trigger each time you fire the gun, you shouldn't have a problem. I have easily fired over 10,000 rounds using the Burst Wizard King Kong and I see no signs of trigger wear. The programming guide may seem complicated at first, but after a couple of rounds of trial and error, it gets pretty easy. Just to demonstrate, in this clip I'm programming a 3 round burst, one second delay for the full auto rollover and turning the lipo protection on. For the programming, the burst count is simply how many BBs you want it to fire. This can be variable depending on the battery that you use. On 11.1, .1, the timing seems to be a little bit off, but using a 7.4 20C battery, it seems to be spot on. Another feature is full auto rollover. 
You can turn this either on or off, and that's whether or not when you hold down the trigger if you want it to go full auto or not. You can also delay the amount of time it takes for this to happen. In this clip, I'm actually holding down the trigger and nothing is happening, so it's only firing the burst. In this next set, I'm holding down the trigger, you can hear the two second delay, and then it kicks into full auto. To show you the accuracy of the burst count, here I have it set for two shots with full auto rollover and a second delay. You can hear it misfire once, and then it catches back up and continues firing correctly. The active braking portion on this I found works quite well. Here's a three shot burst with full auto. When you compare the quality of the Burst Wizard King Kong in combination with its price and ease of installation, in my opinion this is the best computerized MOSFET out there. I know that this video only showed its basic capabilities, but I highly recommend you check out the webpage and see more of the advanced details.